pour some weed out. Extreme strains is what I dream about. Exhaling smoke in the turf, start yelling. Wings start flapping when I start exhaling. Rolling up a bag. It's rolling up. I'm too good, Marley. This is certified pothead. Smoking on one of my morning spliffs. You know what we about to do, bird clap? We about to take a look at these cannabis conspiracy theories. What's that like to call cannabis conspiracy theories? Today's theory involves lizard people. So look at that, folks, because we're diving deep into the scaliest secret to shake all warm-blooded world since sliced bread. Which, by the way, is about as exciting to a lizard person as watching paint dry on a desert walk. Rumor has it that lizard people walk among us, but not the casual gecko chilling on your deck. No, we're talking about intelligent, cold-blooded reptilians with a chilling need for cannabis to keep them from shedding their humanity like an old skin. Yes, our chili-blooded friends rely on TAC to keep up appearances, and they've set up the world's biggest cannabis conspiracy to do it. You could say they're coldly calculating in their quest for greener pastures. Ready to scale up your knowledge of the chilliest secret society on the planet? Let's dive in and get to the root of this conspiracy. Imagine you're a lizard person, freezing cold-blooded by nature, just trying to blend in at a cocktail party. You're charming, confident, laughing. Well, hissing at jokes about the weather. I'm suppressing your urge to flick your tongue at the guacamole. But there's one problem. If you don't keep a steady dose of THC in your system, your scales start popping out, your tongue forks a little, and your cold blooded cover is brown quicker than you can say, I want to stay indoors. Without you, lizard people's true frigid forms emerge. Think salamander at the North Pole. Levels of conspicuation. In other words, they're one skipped gummy away from shedding their warm disguise like a snake slipping out of the last season's skin. And TAC is not just their way of taking the edge off, but their essential cover against an icy expose. Without it, they're left shivering in plain sight, as human as a popsicle in the desert. Let's just say that without the urban disguise, they're cleaner than the fog in a snowstorm. Talk about being chilled to the bone, huh? Think about it like this. Without their dose of THC, they're like a turtle without its shell, completely exposed. Or a chameleon whose colors have faded faster than a gecko's tail under pressure. You know, without their THC fix, it's like a snake left out in the cold, frantically trying to get back into the burning barrel. Just like a lizard basking in the sun, they need that heat, or in their case, that green heat, to stay in control. And don't forget, a lizard person with no THC is like a comedian with no punchlines. A little too stiff and a lot less funny. Here's a riddle for you. I'm small and quick, love the warm sunlight, with sticky toes and grip so tight. I scurry around with no fuss or noise. The sound is like a tasty choice, but am I? If you're wondering how lizard people keep themselves looking warm better in a cold world, let me tell you, it's not some simple stash in a drawer. There's an entire cold-hearted black market green network in place delivering THC to every, every lizard person in need. Faster than a snake slithering under a rock on a frosty morning. In other words... This secret operation is as sophisticated as a chameleon's camouflage. With under the table deals, green warehouses, and lizard people see was discreetly financing it all to avoid a chill catastrophe. Who's behind this frosty fortune? It's rumored that lizard people were the original investors in the cannabis industry, ensuring they'd never be left out. In the cold, so to speak. While well, humans celebrated legalization, thinking it was all for us, the lizard people slowly moved into the blue rooms, cornering in the market on their own red blooded disguise. The next time a dispensary opens, it's not just humans breathing a sigh of relief, it's the cold blooded conspirators giving a subtle hiss of satisfaction. Imagine the deals happening in these shadowy chambers, slickered in a lizard in a puddle with tongue flicking faster than a python chasing dinner. These lizard people are crafty, like a crocodile lying in wait, all teeth and patience. And they think they don't have backup plans either. They've mastered the art of blending in like a snake in the grass, slow, deliberate, and 
Instead of detecting until it's too late. If you see a lizard in the woods, it's probably not what you think. Imagine the homers. You're in the middle of a PTA meeting, trying to pass a warm-blooded, sweater-loving human, and suddenly your scales start peeking through, your tongue forks a little too much, and your cold-blooded homer starts to crack like a, a guana. Enough for hot work. That's right. A lizard person without THC is as helplessly cold-blooded as a lizard lost in an ice storm. They don't just lose their humanity. They become as uncomfortable as a polar bear in a sauna, shivering as their true frosty nature starts to reveal itself. When deprived of THC, these lizard people aren't the cruel, calm figures they pretend to be. Without their daily dose, they're clothed in an iguana in Antarctica, struggling to maintain their composure while every inch of them wants to bask under their heat lamp and let the scales come loose. If you see a sight, a slight, scaly shimmer on someone trying to stay under the radar, be polite. Maybe they're just a little too chilly without their puff. Picture it like this. They're like a lizard left out of the sun, desperately trying to absorb warmth but getting colder by the second. Their body temperature dropping faster than a cold-blooded amphibian in the freezer. Without THC, they're as helpless as a tortoise in a snowstorm, struggling to maintain the hard exterior while freezing their still seep into their bones. It's like trying to stay warm while wearing a lizard-shaped sweater made out of ice cubes. Here's another riddle for you. I live on land and bask in the light, the tongue that flicks in the love of the night. My skin is rough, I'm not too small. You'll find me lurking by the rock on the wall. What am I? Forget lizards passing around joints at music festivals. These guys are the masters of subtlety. Sub, 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 you might catch the mic with those and tea and see the boy around, dropping a special tincture in their tea, and discreetly puffing on a vape. For a lizard person, dosing isn't just a way to warm up, it's survival. They perfected the art of taking just enough to stay smooth and human looking without anyone realizing there's something a little chilly beneath the surface. In fact, they have custom blends designed just for their cold blooded condition. Some top picks Camo Kush for the natural glow, Chili Chameleon for those big public appearances and lip town relaxation for a warm blooded night on the fly. So next time you see someone down in an extra green smoothie, keep an eye out for signs of cold blooded chill. Could be chill melody, specially crafted to give them a warm look without so much as a heat lamp in sight. If you spot someone looking as comfortable as a salamander in a snowstorm without their fix, well, you just might be looking at a lizard person and need some warming up. They're as sneaky as a snake shedding its skin, smoothly slipping in and out of situations like a crocodile in milky waters. The moment you think you spotted them, they're already bending in like a gecko in the jungle. It's like watching a lizard in the wild. One minute they're right there and the next they're hidden in plain sight. They're slippery as an eel, except they need their daily fix. Then they're more like a reptile in a hot tub, relaxing and recharged. Little time. I'm tough and sneaky, known to be crafty. In deserts and forests, I'm slithering and scrappy. My name rhymes with monitor, though I don't stare. I'll hide on a rock and slink here and there. Get them. Even the best of us slip up and when lizard people fail to stay on top of their THC game, they end up somewhere very, very exclusive. We're talking high security wellness centers where cold blooded folks can warm up without burning their cover. Think of it as a rehab for lizards where they can take a break from pretending to be ram blooded like a snake trying to fit in at a penguin party. And yes, they even got chill receptionists who give them extra servings of frosted leaf. They're looking a little too sluggish to climb the social ladder. So the next time you see someone casually indulging in a little green, just remember, you might be looking at a lizard person, doing everything they can to stay warm and blooded in an increasingly cold world. They're as slick as a snake, as quick as a gecko, and slippery as a lizard in the hammock. But hey, the truth is, this cold-blooded, you can't blame them for heating up a little. Stay tuned for more because the scales of justice are always tipping in favor of the chill. The answers to the riddles. Gecko. Monitor lizard. Lizard. I'll see you on the next one, bro.